My name is Miss Gabsdo, but you can call me Miss G. I teach first grade at Concord International Elementary School. Somos Pumas. Today we're going to read a book about counting and then play with some dominoes. If you picked up your packet for this week, you'll find dominoes at the back of that packet and you can use those to follow along. This book is called In and Out of the Toy Box by Adria Klein, illustrated by Dennis Dittrich. It is about some toys who come to life when their children go outside to play, kind of like Toy Story. Let's see what happens. In and out of the toy box. The children left their room today. They wanted to go outside and play. Before they left their room today, they put all their toys away. That was good of them. Two dolls climbed out of the toy box today. They wanted to climb and play. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? So since two toys came out of the toy box, I know that there are two toys out in the room. Three bears jumped out of the toy box today. They wanted to jump and play. So now there are three bears out. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? So there were two toys before and the three bears came out. Two and three is five. Five trucks zoomed out of the toy box today. They wanted to zoom and play. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? There were five before and now five trucks. Five and five makes 10. Three bears jumped back into the toy box today. They jumped into the toy box to stay. So we had 10 toys and three went in. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? We had 10 and three went in. So 10 minus three is seven. Four cats crawled out of the toy box today. They wanted to crawl and play. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? So there were seven toys that were out and four came out, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There are 11 toys out. Five trucks zoomed back into the toy box today. They zoomed into the toy box to stay. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? What do you think? Seven balls rolled out of the toy box today. They wanted to roll and play. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? Looks like fun. What do you think?
Four cats crawled back into the toy box today. They crawled back into the toy box to stay. Good kitties. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? Seven balls rolled back into the toy box today. They rolled back into the toy box to stay. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? Two dolls climbed back into the toy box today. They climbed back into the toy box to stay. I believe they were the last ones. How many toys are out in the room today? How many toys run and play? I believe there are zero out in the room today. We left our toys in the room today. That's what the children say. Our toys had to stay in the toy box today. Now let's take them out to play. But we know as readers that the toys have been playing all day. The end. Now let's play our game. To start, let's talk about the parts of an equation. The parts of an equation look like this. Blank plus blank equals blank when we're doing an addition equation. So now we can look at our dominoes and put the numbers into the equation. So, two plus three equals blank. Now, I'm gonna start with the bigger number and count on from there. Three, four, five. So that tells us that the sum of the number is five. Using this tool to help us, we are now going to play battle. In battle, each player turns over a card, or in this case, a domino, like this. We add up the total number of dots on our dominoes. The person with the highest number of dots wins and keeps both dominoes. So let's try this. So here, we have this domino. Two plus four. I'm going to count on from the bigger number. Four, five, six. We know the answer is six. The sum is six. Let's look at yours now. We have three, six, plus four. And I'm going to count on from the bigger number. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now that we have our sums, we can tell that you have the bigger number. So you get both dominoes and they go in a pile by you. All right, let's keep playing. I got this one and you got this one. 
So let's set up our equations again. Two plus one. Count on from the bigger number. Two, three. All right, there is our sum. And now for your turn. Two plus three, six. Two plus six, six, seven, eight. Looks like you won again. So you get both of those dominoes and they go into your pile. Let's try some more. I have three, six, Count on from the bigger number, six, seven. Okay, and now you're. Oh, looks like we have a double stacked here. Two plus two. And I know my double stacks. So two plus two equals four. All right, so now looking at the sums, we can tell that, oh, mine has more. It has a bigger sum. So I get those dominoes. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to set up my equation. All right, here I have four. Oh, looks like there's another double stacked. Four plus four. And since I know my double stacks, I know four plus four is equal to eight. Set up your equation now. We have five and three. Count on from the bigger number. Five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> we have a battle. A battle happens when both sums are the same number. So now we're going to pick another set of dominoes and see who has the bigger number then. them on top. All right. Give myself a little bit more room. Set up my equation. Four and three. Count on from the bigger number. Four, five, six, seven. And set up my equation. Three, six plus five. Ooh, this is a trickier one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it looks like you have won the battle. So you get all of those dominoes. Now, when you have picked, when you don't have any more dominoes to choose from, then you turn your pile over, you mix them up, you have a bunch, and you start over again. So 
So here I have two plus two, doubles fact. I know my doubles fact, so I know that two plus two equals four. All right, and your turn. Two plus six. All right, count on from the bigger number. Six, seven, eight. Okay, and oh, you won again. The sum is bigger. So you get my tile. Now, the first, per the first person who runs out of tiles, so you look and see that I only have one more. If I run out and I have no more tiles, then you win. And that is how you would win the game.